At the recent Supercomputing Asia event in Singapore, I had an opportunity to speak with Nick Zhang. He's a research fellow at Nanyang Technological University, and he's doing his research on jet engine noise and techniques for reducing that noise. He's doing his research using the facilities of the National Supercomputing Center of Singapore. All right, thank you for taking time to speak with us. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your research. Sure, uh, it's my pleasure. Hello. Um, okay, I'm Nick from uh, NTU, and the project we are presently working on is to understand the flow dynamics as well as to understand the uh, noise signature of a supersonic jet. Um, basically, what we are trying to do here is one of the very hot research topic uh, at the moment in the aviation industry, which is to reduce the level of noises in the jet engines or uh, in the flow past an aircraft. Uh, so basically, what we are trying to use here is to uh, use computational fluid dynamics as our tool to study the flow uh, field as well as the noise of the supersonic jet. So uh, the conventional CFD toolboxes or the conventional CFD packages only comes with uh, low orders or even uh, maybe not so uh, use, uh, user-friendly toolboxes for supersonic jet uh, flows. So we are trying to use, uh, make uh, take advantage of an open source CFD toolbox, which is called OpenFoam, so that it is able to allow us to customize the code and uh, to put in uh, high order numerical schemes in order to capture the small signatures and the small characteristics of the jet flows. So over here is the result we are seeing uh, simulated here, and basically we're able to see that. The structures are captured uh, uh, very well uh, as compared to the experiment, as well as the sound signatures has been captured uh, with the peaks corresponding to the experiments very well. Uh, of course, uh, on top of that, by using a high order numerical schemes, it requires a lot of computational resources. And this is the reason why we have to make use of uh, high performance computing during our study. And we are relying at the moment on the National Supercomputing Center of Singapore and uh, basically we are parallelizing it with around 300-400 cores at the moment and the simulation time is about two weeks to three weeks. Mm, yeah, but that goes to a physical time of the supersonic jet of only 0 0.06 seconds. But that's enough for us to understand the signature as well as the dynamics of the flow. Are you working with the airline manu or with the uh, airplane manufacturers at this point? Uh, at this point, no, because uh, the project is in fact two folds. The first fold is for us to develop this code and to make sure that the code is really so-called high fidelity and uh, to prove that it works for predicting the noise well. And the second part will be to find the solution strategy to suppress the noises themselves, which could be, uh, you know, in partnership with other uh, institutes or industrial partners. So how does that, when, when you come up with a proposed solution, you put that into the simulation and run again, is that how it works? Yes, that's how it works, but um, apparently that has to be based on some uh, experiences. For instance, that uh, Boeing has you know, its unique design in suppressing the noise, and we are trying to find something. Uh, we are trying to understand the flow, and then trying to find, okay, maybe this part will, is going to work well. That's the, that's the approach. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much for your time. It's very interesting. Thank Good you. luck in your research. Uh, thank you. Nice to talk.